Hey everyone, guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video today. I'm actually wearing some headphones. I don't know if y'all can hear me. I know they have a microphone built into them because I checked before I used them. But just, they're nice and red. I can actually control my tablet from them. Let me see if it works. Something will open up most times. I don't know if the button actually works on my tablet. Because it has a, but a special button on it. It can actually play, pause videos on YouTube and stuff, but apparently it doesn't work on my tablet. Right now, if I'm talking too loud, sorry, because when I'm talking, it sounds like I can actually hear myself talk. <clears throat> what I want to show you today is you remember when I used to build these? Because if you haven't checked out that video, go check it out. One of my earphones just fell out. Oops. So if you haven't checked out the video that shows, showcases what I'm about to build, go check it out. It looks pretty good. So they're going to be brought back today. I'm working on getting this ear bone back into my ear because they keep popping out. Okay, there we go. So if you didn't know about these, these can actually be used as a timer. They will not turn off right to the torches though. That's the one downside. I'm getting a lot of lag in this world. I don't know why. I think, I think it might be all the redstone lamps. Because for some reason, Pocket Edition redstone lamps lag. You like mad. This little guy right here. Uh, he can be used as a clock. Uh, my ear fell out again. Sorry. I just keep saying when it falls out. Because it's very annoying when it falls out. Very annoying when it falls out. I'm going to go ahead and place all of these down. As you can see here, when I did that, obviously it's going to do that. This is what it looks like. This is actually surprisingly literally a timer. If you run a redstone signal to here, and then to like, um, Anything that will go out and back into it, it can be set up as a timer. So what it would do is it would check to see if the block, like it's weird how it works. But like I said, it does not turn off torches. Unless I'm just getting mad lag. Because I'm lagging like crazy. So see? As you can see, it's just sitting here, seeing if there's a signal. So that's off, as you can see there. But every few seconds, that will happen, and it will send a signal off randomly. Almost every block update. I think it might be the rain that's lagging me like crazy. The pause recording trust. Okay, so I'm back. I think it stopped the lag really good. Yeah, as you can see, every single time a block update happens, it will turn it on. See, you can see the particles from it. And every single second or so, this will flicker, flash, and then you could make this go up the stairs that you could hide all the redstone. Um, I don't even know what just happened there. So wait for it to check to see if there's a block. Well, a s update, but it doesn't, so it just randomly flash. And for some reason, that will happen. I think it might be because of the block. No, it's just going to do that. And that's very annoying. I think it's any block placed along redstone. Yep. And it's so annoying. 
can't even break it. For some reason, this is going to flash like crazy. That's really annoying. Headphones fell out again. I don't care if I broke it. That. So it could be used as a timer for anything, which is weird. So say you want it in your map, just not for your doors, because as you saw there, it's a little bit glitched, and it will freak out. If you're still wondering how this is like a mini clock, I don't get how it works. I think this is a redstone signal is constantly running into it, and this is turning that off. But this down here is on, cause that's off. So both these are on. It's turning that one off, cause that's what it looks like. When you run powder into it. See? That's what I was talking about. Right there. But for some reason, that one down there doesn't receive power. And then this is what creates the whole block update detector, I'm guessing. Man, this is what it does. See? So every single time a block is placed, it turns on. So this is your own block update detector and pocket edition. I know it's pretty big. Doesn't make any sense. That it should be this big whatsoever. But just put this in your map. There you go. Like, tell them. Push the block right here. Don't break the redstone. Block update. And then it turns out on. It's really good. Really good to me. I really wish this rain would stop. But to make this more compact redstone, so it's hidden, just put a lever on the back right here. And that should turn that off. And there's your block update detector. Or you can make it where they have to break. Ooh, wait, did that work? So when they place the block right there, done. And it block updates it. So what could happen is, say you have a a block right there, a piece of redstone running into that. The door on top of that, but it will make it freak out because for some reason it like the door will do whatever it does. Good that doesn't care as a block update. Put this on both sides. Funny if you walked on this and it just like randomly started doing. How does that count as a block update? I, I'm lagging so bad right now, guys. Just 
put this in your map. Makes it look like this. This will randomly happen, but for your map, you should make it like this. But that will still make it randomly flash. I'm not lying, it will. It'd be funny if, if I walked over that block and it just... If I walked over this block and it literally just started opening and closing. Actually, it's possible. All you gotta do is find the sweet block. Place one block on there. Before you go in. I place it right there. Voila. Uh, that's second, third person. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this, especially Red Sun videos. I love my Red Sun now. Well, if y'all made this in a map, tell me. I put it in the maps for Minecraft PE. And I will actually go and create it and check it out. Yes, look at my wrist, I'm locked. Peace.